for Tux here. We're going to show you how to keep from going under the knife. We're counting down the top 10 non-extreme makeovers and it's all starting right now. Seventh grade breakout still haunting you? Help is on the way with our number five hit, Perfecting Skin Imperfections. Not everyone is born with porcelain skin. Out, damn spot. For those of us who have these pesky imperfections, technology is now here to help. Three of the most common complaints that I see are for acne, rosacea, and broken blood vessels in the skin. And there's tremendous things we can do now with lasers to help control them and improve the skin. It's really super quick, it's pretty painless. You can be in the doctor's office and out within a half an hour and back to work the next day. So investing in the laser procedure, which is pricey, but the results are permanent. But if a $500 laser session doesn't light your fire, peels may be the thing for you. Superficial peels can be excellent for treating blemishes in the skin. Microdermabrasion is a wonderful technique that we've been using for years. Microdermabrasion is where you take off the very top layer of the skin. So several treatments of microdermabrasion helps smooth the tone and it can even improve acne outbreaks on the skin as well. So peel those imperfections away at the doctor's office for about $200, or even do it at home for a more affordable option. But at the end of the day, the miracles of makeup could be the easiest way to go. All you have to do is go to your local drugstore and buy a great concealer. And use it in the areas that you need it more, a little bit thicker, and, and then blend it out. This is where makeup can be your best friend. At the number four spot, we have help. Now here's another full frontal fashion tip. If you have a red blemish, you take some eye drops and you put it right on the area that's red. The same way it gets rid of the redness from your eyes, it'll get rid of the redness from your blemish. Up next on Full Frontal, and instead of going under the knife, try going into your makeup or clothing drawer. Get some bronzing powder and just bronze your way along your collarbone and right down your cleavage line. This creates a contouring and shading effect that gives you a tighter cleavage and just sort of lifts your breasts up. Low cut and wrap tops make you look like you have a larger bust. What you don't want to do is wear anything that's too binding that actually will flatten it out even more. For women who don't have large chests, you know, you can feel happy with the fact that you don't have something that can make you uncomfortable. For some women, it can actually give you a slimmer silhouette when you don't have larger breasts. Silky soft.